We have invaded the abandoned Pripyat city. Oh my gosh! We have been going to the zone through the Forbidden Forest all night, and today we are going to put some electricity in the abandoned house for stalkers that use these flats. What's inside? Oh my gosh, the entrance looks so weird. I've got a lantern, let's go. This bike can get heavy luggage upstairs so easily. We're going to live in the apartment 42. There's lots of furniture here. A wardrobe, kitchen, our living room. I guess this is going to be a place for e-bike stables. Hey Anton, do you like in here? Let's see what happened to the house and the fuse box. Ok, let's look at the kitchen first. The ovens are torn apart and stolen for sure. There is an intact Soviet socket and a toilet. Oh my, look at this rust! They didn't steal it. There is also a valve here. Well, at first glance, the fuse box is ok. Aha, uh -huh, it's broken, but three phases are on the place. And we can possibly give electricity to the entire building. There's a holder. And we can turn on the light here. But the elevator is... Oh my cab! Oh my gosh! Finally, we can have some rest here. And everyone fell asleep right away. That's a hell of a flat. They leave some vandals for sure. Look at these prints. Actually, I don't know what are Moscow's. I'm telling you what, we're gonna find a stalker and put a pattern in his ass and film a video about it. Hey, would you like to sleep in this awesome room, friends? Maybe stay for a night in these awesome conditions? Look at this whitewash. It falls down and makes you and your sleeping bag covered in whitewash. That's unbearable. And there's too much dust, it's unreal to breathe here. When I closed the door, it became better, actually. I feel like coughing. This dust comes from outside. You promised some sockets, I don't have a charge. So what are we gonna do? We'll get it, don't worry. That is the view. Look what this idiot's done here. And the writing behind you. What is that again? There were... chavs. What do you think? I think some savages lived here. What do you think about it? Is prepared a place for vandals? There happened the real tragedy after all, and this is historical place. Or maybe you think that vandals can stay here, because this city is abandoned. There we go, let's have a meal. Boiling? Did you want to add that? Not this time. Now we're going to eat the most artificial food possible. That isn't cooking, that's chemistry. Alright, I'm kidding. These are just potato flakes, but they look so awful. Well, we had a break, and now let's restore electricity. In this house. No one stole the wires from here, so wiring is intact. But there is another trouble, the contacts may become rusty. And look what I found here. The original Soviet bulb. And it can be working still. What is the date here? It is 1983. We're gonna clear the contacts now and plug it in the chandelier. We need a cartridge. Let's use this one. I hope it will do. It is not rusty at all. Seems like this flat wasn't exposed to rain that much. And all the things didn't get rusty at all. We're going to restore these lamps. So does it suit or not? Fancy that! The USSR standard, it suits! We are taking the ancient lamp. Is it going to work? Now we have to find the switcher. There it is. I hope this one is okay. It works. That means no rust. Now let's measure the bulb resistance in the cable. I'm measuring through the socket. It's hard. Short circuit didn't happen. Let's switch it on. The tester doesn't see the bulb, unfortunately. That's not going to stop us. I've taken a small 220 volts inverter with me. For checking the wires and electric tools here in Pripyat. The inverter has a polymer battery and radio control typewriter. Let me show you how it works. Switching on the battery. There was a spark. Switching on. And now there is 220 volts. Let's plug it in and take the bulb. I'm doing it carefully. Look here. This one is a regular 220 volts bulb. And using this inverter, we're going to check the electronics in Pripyat. 
and if everything is okay, we will put the light in there and restore the normal electric net here. And we're gonna use this socket, it's so classic. I used similar socket when I was connecting Stasis house to solar power. That time we put here 220 volts inside. Well, friends, film it. Let's turn the lights on. Oh my gosh, it's cool, look at it! Awesome! In principle, the electricity must be in the entire building now. We are not going to stop. Let's put some electricity in the kitchen. It's pretty the oven is torn apart. But if you guys want, we're going to restore it too. So when it will be working, everyone will be able to come here and get warm. Or maybe cook something. We need some of the elements because they were stolen. We're going to fix it and that will be awesome. Now let's try to restore the light. The original cartridge of old times. You can see now that the bulb is covered in dust. Now let's see how it's working. <laughs> oh my! Guys, you just saw the real Soviet lighting in working condition still. We didn't change or fix anything, I swear. It is 30 years old original Soviet electronics. It was here since 1976, fancy that. If there was a bell, we could ring. Let's check it out. Okay, there are some buttons. But the mechanism was stolen by some barbarians. There is what is left. Nothing. There were telephones in Soviet Union. And they were in each house. That is a disturbator. So back in Soviet times, Privet used to be cool and modern place. I would like to try this elevator. Oh well, friends, do you want us to repair the elevator too? Oh, maybe that's too much. <laughs> I'm going to plug in the smartphone, it was made in 2019. In the socket that was made in 1983 maybe. Judging to other electronics here. This socket is just something. It doesn't fit. Oh, you did that? It worked! It is working! 74% fast charge. Well, friends, now we can charge devices. If you wanna go there, the address is Ukrainka Street, flat 57. And there is electricity. Look what I found inside. It is something. It is the chandelier of those times. Let's see if it's working. Here you go. I hope it's okay. It didn't. Oh my! Just look at this color! Hey guys, go there, look at it! Maybe now you don't believe me that it's a real Pripyat. Holy moly! Now we deserve your like! As you see, we are trying hard to amaze you guys, so come on, subscribe right now and ring the bell! It is as simple as that, just click on the button. And now you will never miss our new videos. Let's check the lights in the bathroom too. I'm not sure about it, but... It's working! Really? It seems like a little delay of electricity. It might be a bad contact issue somewhere. But it is working! Let me show you the transformers of station in Pripyat. There were transformers for 630 kilowatts. All stolen. Let's use another entrance on the other side. There must be some high voltage stuff. It says high voltage. It is not surprising. Copper is an expensive thing. It's a panel board. Here are the emitters, switchers and so on. Well, the transformer substation doesn't have its transformers. But there is something left here, as you see. Some emitters. Is it copper? No, it's aluminium. All copper was stolen. Aluminium is on place. Now we want to put some light in the kindergarten or school, that would be awesome. This prepared forest is just wonderful. We are close to the kindergarten. Wild forest. There are some swings. So rusty. Look what we've got in the middle of the forest. A rocket for kids. And a pinwheel. When I was a kid, I played with it, like it was an UFO. Let me press it on. Hmm. I doubt this place is any good now, because do you see this broken switcher? It doesn't work, and the cartridge is broken too. I've got something for you. Oh, Dima found a lamp for us. Holy moly. Have a look at this accordion. Children's book. Some games of old times. What is this place? I don't know. And there are plenty of kids' lockers. Kids only need to remember the image to find their lockers. Birdie, flower, and someone's clothes. 
How do you feel about it? Grapes? Yeah. I'm afraid these lamps aren't working. There are some too. Maybe someone was checking out these lamps, if they work or not. Some bastards have stolen everything. They have disassembled everything to the core. They might be looking for Copic here. Look there. There's an intake switcher, but there are no lamps. Alright, let's get going. Hey guys, we have found a stock of lamps, all is broken. They are completely useless and torn apart. Oh my gosh. Look at this teddy bear. Oh my, these eyes. The echoes of past. There are no working lamps in the kindergarten. Let's take a look at Pripyat in night vision. It all looks so spooky here. This camera has high sensitivity. Can it catch a star? Oh yeah, there it is. It's Pripyat night and we are going to put electricity to the school. You are going to like this atmosphere. What a hell, it's a green spot. I am not talking about you, Alex. This guy is a rare thing here. He is a stalker. And this is a mutant. Oh, no, it's Alex, sorry. We were searching for the school, but found two stalker groups instead. But Vadim noticed a red dot reflection on some balcony. We thought it was random. But then it turned out to be Sergei from another group. So we went further and he was calling for him. We were calling Sergei, and the second group of stalkers answered. They wanted a password and Vadim told something stupid to them. They told bye and good luck. <laughs> so there leave some stalkers here, but these guys are okay. They behave nicely. Let's get going. Look here, Alex. Creeps. We have found the school finally. Hey, go there and listen to the sounds. Right this way. And this building is... Go, go, on the right now. When I get there, stand still and listen. Do you hear that? Let's check out the wires. Hmm, there was a sewerage break. And the fuse box is... Oh my gosh, so much water here. Let's see. We're not gonna find anything. Is that a school? There are another trouble with light. Look at the bulb, someone hanging a mask on it. And everything here is disassembled. The electronics is broken here. Oh my gosh, creeps, friends. What can you tell me about this cash box? Is that a cash box? Did you really think it's a toy? Check paper. Oh my gosh, it looks very authentic. All these letters and so on. This cash box was fully mechanical. And look at these gas masks. Just like in my childhood. Now about weather. Ukraine is fine today. It's minus 14 Celsius. Do not switch. After a short ad you will see a brand new film about Chernobyl. And at that moment I found a damaged lamp. Let's check if it's working. Anyway, we will see now. Let's go. Holy... It's really working! It is in working condition! We are in the middle of nowhere in the abandoned school. And it's all shining so bright in complete darkness. Check it out, Anton. Okay, do it, I see you. I think someone will definitely see us here. I can light them all, this line. For real? So let's try. Yeah, right, switch it all. <laughs> this is hard, bro. We were flaring hard here, in the forbidden Pripyat city. These lamps are 30 years old. And the whole line was working, that is amazing. I don't know how many of them there. One. Let's light them all. Actually, I may be electrocuted. Just think what the hell we are doing here. We are nuts. Why those aren't bright? I got it, they're dirty. It is that bright here, I feel like home. The light. One, two, three, four, five, six. This path is all lit. Do you hear the sound? It's Pripyat sound. It is the sound of USSR lamps.
in case you still don't believe us. <laughs> this thing is awesome. Carefully, you may be electrocuted. That would never happen to me. Switch the lights over there and light up everything. Carefully, it's 220 volts. Got it? Come on, do it, do it. Hold. They must heat up. Push harder. There we go. Bad contact. Holy prepit, now it's becoming interesting. Oh my gosh, they're so yellow. Turn it off. These lamps consume a lot of energy, and we need some for the wheel. Do you want to play in this gym? I want to play football in Pripyat. Playing football in this gym? Well, the floor got rotten. This match is going to be deadly. Oh, there are the lamps. There. They are so fat. I want to light them. We can. There are the wires. There's the start and... Is the circuit broken? Somewhere must be a switcher. If you light this gym, that would be something. The fuse box here. These are wrong wires, they're for telephone. Switcher must be downstairs, it's obvious. Now we're searching for a street lamp to light it up. We are on Lazarev Street in the center, so we gotta be quiet. Let's go. There's a street lamp. Now we have to connect it somehow, the wires go from above. Let's connect 220 volts and see what happens. There we go. Going? Yeah. Well, the moment of truth. Maybe there is no bulb or something. Let's move from here. This is it for today. Tomorrow we have to put high voltage cable to the house and hide a reducer on the top of building somehow. And Pripyat will have electricity. And next time we're going to launch the Ferris wheel here in Pripyat. What do you think? Can we do it or not?